But I can guarantee you there's no better deal than you being able to upgrade and keep whatever thing you buy, okay? Trying to buy something brand new every single year and not being able to repair your devices is absolutely ridiculous. And that's why Framework has come out with their laptops to help solve that problem. And now they get even better. They had their major event. I am actually really, really excited by what Framework had on offer with their first 16 inch laptop. Because not only is it going to have an upgradable keyboard situation with a whole bunch of replacement options. You can add in a numpad, RGB backlight, whatever you want. But then on top of that, having those all with your input modules in small, medium, and large with those different situations. But then they're also going to have an expansion base system that will allow you to either insert things like dual M.2 drives or potentially even graphics cards that can take up to eight lanes of PCI Express bandwidth, which is going to be faster than Thunderbolt 4, which is going to make it incredibly fast and like you can take full advantage of a GPU. We talked about it in a previous episode of Hot News, how Tech Power Up did a test run to see how much this PCI Express bottlenecking effect in RTX 4090 and running at eight lanes was like, you lost four or 5% FPS. It really wasn't a huge deal with a slap in a 4090 in there. So seeing that type of situation in a laptop could mean for some high powered laptop graphics cards, but it's not just a GPU or M.2 expansion. They also talked about the fact that you could add in full desktop cards like a capture card or anything else that you could potentially use PCI Express lanes for, they're going to have an ecosystem for that. And with the laptop 16s, they're going to have three expansion cards on either side of the laptop for a total of six, where you can just slap in three different audio jacks. That's what they showed off in their video, where they talked about how it was courageous to get rid of headphone jacks. But you can see here the expansion base system on the Framework 16 laptop, and then this is it without it. So you can actually create your own situation, leave your expansion GPU at home, take it without the GPU to work, have that extra battery life. There was a lot of good announcements in that regard. I'm very excited for this. They hopefully are going to be able to overcome some of the issues that we've seen with upgradable GPUs in the past with MXM modules, which required you to buy this special one type of thing that you had to open up and break open your, your laptop in order to do. And then you had to hope that your computer could actually properly cool it. Because this is in an external enclosure, it could potentially mean that each one has its own cooling solution and frameworks already showed that they are able and willing and the community is around them to build out the ecosystem to have their laptops support this type of thing, hopefully for the long run, because the industry desperately needs something like this. I am absolutely in for one of these laptops, which they say are shipping late 2023. But on top of that, they had a few other announcements for the devices that they already have. The Framework Laptop 13 is both going to have 13th gen Intel CPU options, as well as AMD Ryzen 7040 options, which you can actually pre-order on their website right now. They're going to start at $850 for whether you get Intel or AMD. The Intel one is going to be shipping in May, according to them, and the AMD Ryzen one is going to be shipping in Q3, especially with AMD taking a little bit of time in order to release this. But they also discussed some upgradability that they have with the new matte display, as well as different options that they're going to have for batteries. Going up to a 61 watt hour battery from the previous 55 watt hour, which is actually swappable with whatever framework laptop 13 that you may have right now, keeping with their mission of making sure that you can upgrade your devices. And they also announced that they're partnering with Cooler Master to bring out an enclosure where you can take the main board that's part of the framework laptop and have that just potentially just out in the open part of your computer on a vase amount behind a monitor so that you hide it away. It basically turns the framework laptop into a mini little desktop. And then if they're going to roll that out for the 16 inch one with the expandable GPU, you can create some really neat setups with what framework's trying to bring to the market. We obviously have to wait and see if this comes to fruition. I'm very excited about the framework laptop 16. Again, this is going to depend on ecosystem. Is framework going to be around long enough to actually deliver on the upgrade ability? But if you buy one this year, you get it with an RTX 4060, potentially being able to upgrade it to an RTX 7080 in 2028 would be a fantastic proposition and absolutely serves their vision of making sure that there's sustainable laptops and right to repair in the market. You love to see it.